hello everyone I am going to talk about uh, medium today and this is PDA medium and how to make PDA medium and PDS lens this will be discussed uh, here in this video PDA stands for potato dextrose agar and this potato dextrose agar medium is perhaps the most commonly used medium for plant pathogenic fungi it is a general purpose cultivation media of fungi this medium is used for isolation of fungi from infected plants cultivation of fungi and maintenance of fungi in the lab it is a semi synthetic medium because there is a natural ingredient potato and also synthetic compound that is dextrose and these potato and dextrose they are the sources of nutrients for the fungi now the ingredients to make 1 liter of potato dextrose agar medium is given in the left hand side potato 200 g dextrose 20 g agar agar 20 g and distilled water 1 liter so to make 1 liter of this medium this constituents are required now in the right hand side we see another medium potato dextrose broth this medium is liquid in nature because there is no agar agar here so basically agar agar is a solidifying agent that makes the medium solid and this agar agar has no nutritional value for the fungi or any other microbe now how these ingredients provide nutrition to the fungi potato is a natural source a natural ingredient it supplies mainly carbohydrate so it is a source of carbon for the fungi potato also supplies minerals vitamins proteins and other nutritional benefits dextrose it is an easy carbon source for the fungi agar agar is a solidifying agent it has no nutritional value as has been said earlier microbes cannot utilize agar agar and this agar agar is available in powder form and this is obtained from red algae gelidium gracilaria etc for agar agar a temperature of 44 to 45 degree celsius is very critical because in a medium where agar agar is present if the temperature of the medium goes below 44 degree celsius then the medium starts solidifying and when the temperature goes above 44 or 45 degree celsius the medium remains in a melted condition so this temperature is quite important when we go for using pda medium after autoclaving now a question may arise whether we should add 15 g or 20 g of agar agar because in some literature we find 15 g of agar agar while in others we see 20 g of agar agar this depends on the ambient temperature conditions in a temperate country where the temperature remains low throughout the year we need less of agar agar to make the medium solidified whereas in tropical countries where the room temperature or ambient temperature can go up to 40 or above that we need more agar agar to keep the medium solid now what are the steps in making this pda medium this is one of the first media that a plant pathologist 
prepares during his or her learning years so let us see how this medium is prepared so we need potato of 200 gram we peel and cut the potato into small pieces then we take distilled water and boil the potato pieces in a vessel and these potato pieces will be boiled till they become soft after the pieces are soft enough we filter with muslin cloth and collect the potato extract and we also throw the potato pieces so after we collect the extract we add dextrose and agar agar to it if we are making one liter of PDA medium then 20 gram of dextrose and 20 gram of agar agar will be added and then we make the volume up to 1000 ml by using distilled water then we mix and we dispense the mixed PDA medium into clean conical flask if we are taking 250 ml size of conical flask then we have to fill the conical flask up to 200 ml level so for 1 liter of medium we get 5 number of 250 ml size conical flask so after dispensing the mixture we plug the conical flask and autoclave once we know the conditions of autoclaving autoclaving is done at a temperature of 121 degree celsius at 15 pound per square inch pressure for 15 minutes so autoclaving is done to kill the microbes present in the media that might have contaminated the media during preparation now after we do autoclaving our media is sterilized what can you do with that media we can use the media immediately before it solidifies by pouring out appropriately in sterile petri dishes inside the laminate chamber or we can keep the media in refrigerator for future use after the PDA medium cools down under room condition so it has been shown here again so we have a autoclaved medium in the left hand side we have two fates of this medium so we can use the medium immediately by pouring in the sterile petri dishes and we have to remember that we should not put hot medium in the petri dishes we have to wait till the medium cools down to a temperature of about 50 degree celsius so we pour the medium from conical flask to sterile petri dishes at the rate of 15 to 20 ml per plate aseptically inside the laminar chamber so this can be done immediately after autoclaving secondly this autoclaved medium can be allowed to cool down in room condition and then stored in the refrigerator for some time now this stored medium which will be obviously solidified can be used by melting the medium again so we melt the medium again and use it by pouring in the petri dishes sterile petri dishes now we have to remember one thing here that the stored PDA medium can be heated for melting only once repeated melting can actually destroy the nutritive value of the medium now a question may arise whether we can autoclave PDA medium more than once or whether we can melt the PDA medium after autoclaving after the medium solidifies and store for future use can we melt the medium more than once I mean say we take a conical flask of 250 ml size where we have 200 ml of media 
and we use only 100 ml after melting and we want to keep the remaining 100 ml for future use. That means we have to melt it again the next day or any other day in the future. So this practice of repeated melting of a medium is not advisable. So autoclaving should be done only once. Repeated autoclaving or melting destroys the nutritive value of the medium and repeated heating also decreases the pH of the medium. Agar agar loses its solidifying property and PDA medium does not solidify properly. Moreover, the dextrose which is there in the PDA medium also get burnt. Now PDA slants. How to make PDA slants? These slants are made in test tubes and these slants are very useful for purification of isolated microbe in the lab. These lens are also used for maintenance of fungi and also for short term preservation in the refrigerator. These lens are better compared to PDA plates for maintenance or purification or short term preservation of fungi because in the tubes there is less chance of contamination because the size of the mouth is small. Moreover, these PDS lands require less amount of media to prepare. Only 8 to 10 ml of medium is required to make one slant. Whereas, to make one PDA plate, we need 15 to 20 ml of media. So, use of PDA land is more economic for maintenance and preservation of fungi. We have to remember here that PDS lens cannot be used for isolation of microbes from the infected plants. For isolation, PDA plates are preferred. For maintenance and preservation, PDS lens are preferred. Then how to make PDS lens? Same as before, we take potato of 200 gram, peel and cut them into small pieces boil with distilled water till the potato pieces become soft then filter with muslin cloth and collect the potato extract to this extract add dextrose and agar agar make the volume up to 1000 ml and mix them well after mixing them well we have to dispense this medium into tubes, test tubes at the rate of 8 to 10 ml approximately in a standard size tubes and then plug the tubes and autoclave. Now if someone wants to make a medium of 500 ml or half liter then accordingly the ingredients which are there in the composition should be also halved. Now after this autoclaving the process does not end. We have some extra steps to make slants. So after autoclaving the tubes we have to take the tubes out of the autoclave. After the autoclave pressure goes down naturally when the medium is still hot in the tubes hold the tubes and put them in slanting position one by one on a laboratory bench just like this so we have autoclaved tubes with molten media in the left hand side and we need to keep them in a slanting position so we have to keep these tubes in the slanting position for some time to allow the media to be solidified so when the media gets solidified we can keep the tubes in upright position under room temperature or in the refrigerator for future use. Now what is ideal slant? A ideal slant is the one where we get a medium surface as it has been shown in the left picture. So this is the right method of preparing PDS slants whereas two other pictures given here are wrong. So in the middle picture 
the amount of medium is too short moreover it is too far from the mouth of the tube so we have to push the inoculation needle too far that may lead to contamination of medium whereas in the rightmost picture we have more than required medium in the tube and in the bottom around 1.5 to 2 cm length of the tube has medium which is not or which cannot be accessed by the fungi when inoculated on the surface in the slanting position these days of course we get uh, ready made pda so it is a dehydrated mixture of potato dextrose and agar agar we just need to weigh the required quantity of it and mix with water and dispense in conical flasks or test tubes and autoclave so it removes the botheration of cutting the potato pieces boiling and all that however some researchers report that this ready made pda is not uh, good enough to cultivate uh, many fungi so it is always advised that a pda should be made fresh using the potato so to know more about the videos from me you can also uh, refer to this uh, youtube links where some videos on cox postulates the totality of it and then methods of sterilization in plant pathology then method of surface sterilization in plant pathology then phytopathology research news oh, which will be a monthly uh, publication so so far we have only uh, publication of july 2020 and the august publication will be coming out soon then plant pathological societies of india so with this the video ends here thank you very much